Hey guys, One Beer Keith here from Longwood Lures, and I'm out on the Palakaha River over between the Claremont Chain of Lakes. And uh, well, it's been a rough day out here. You see, the clouds are starting to move in, and fish aren't biting. So I thought what I would do is I'd take the time to talk a little bit about my Lawrence Hook Five Triple Shot. Here you can see I've got it wired up here on the Bonafide. Now I've got it up to full brightness right now, but I can tell you, even though it's clouded up a bit, when the sun was out, I had no problem seeing it. Now that's definitely going to wear the battery a little bit faster, but what I'm doing today I think that's perfectly fine now the 5 has got a couple of different options here so you go back to the mainstream you get your charts for navigation that includes uh, quite a few of them already pre-laid in there take a look on the website if you're curious if your body of water is included or not you've got your traditional sonar which is good for up and down um, I don't really use it all that much since I've got the, the down and I've also got the side scanning but I'll talk about that here in a second. What I also like about it is that it gives you the ability to sort of pre-build these screens any way that you want. So you see here's one I got all three on there. Uh, this is primarily the one that I'm fishing out of most of the time. And what I've got here is, as you see it load in, this is actually my down scan as well as my side scan. Now I'll talk about my settings here in just a minute. But you see I've kind of got it dialed in a little bit more. So I've got a lot more clarity going on than, than you would get out of the factory settings. Since I'm always generally going to be fishing out of the Bonafide, my little kayak here that I know I don't need to set this to be ready to go at any quick pace and for the most part I'm not really using this to try to find fish I'm really more interested in having this help me figure out where structure is and you'll be able to see that kind of going across on the bottom what's nice they made the settings real easy to get into so this particular one that I'm on now I've already got kind of set for myself but we'll go in and talk a little bit about the side scan because I think anybody that's really looking at this this is probably one of the newer features and it's definitely the one I think a lot of people are interested in so I'm going to be in here just strictly on the side scan for a minute. So just to give you an idea, I'm sitting in about uh, 9 feet of water, you can see over here on the side. So this goes straight down to about 9, you can see that line. Then from there, that's the edge that's sort of folding out for me. Now I happen to be sitting right here against the weed lines while you're kind of seeing that go down so sharp. Then we got quite a bit of distance over here to the other bank. So as we're actually taking a look at that, you can kind of see that showing up here that weed lines pretty tight here and you saw it was relatively thick on the right side but then off on the left you got a lot more room and already seeing some kind of shadows and things like that that are showing up over there now on top of all of that you can also go into a lot more of your advanced settings here now I've taken and turned mine up to 800 kilowatt kilohertz uh, just because I want that additional clarity you get an option between 455 or 800 so you can go ahead and play with that any way that you want to and definitely don't take just any one setting off here uh, go ahead out there until you uh, you find the one that you particularly like. I'll just let that run at 455 for a second. You can kind of see the difference. And like I said, I, I prefer the 800, but that's really just because of kind of preference and what I'm looking for. But definitely play with this is my best advice until you figure out the settings that are best for you. Now, in addition to that, I've also got my uh, advanced mode set up on here. So my surface clarity, I've got all that set up to high things like that because I don't want to really see any additional you know gunk and things like that that's happening around me I know the type of water that I'm fishing in down here is typically going to be something that's a little bit murkier and I just don't need to deal with it especially in the case where I'm really just looking for structure that's just adding a level on there I don't need to have now if I go ahead and just back up out here same case with the down scan you can actually see what's going on there so that's also set at 800 uh, what I do really like about this is it's got the water temperature on there so one advantage I have with the uh, the Bonafide is that it does allow me to put my transducer directly underneath. It's got that bottom hole mount, so it's actually down there and it's kind of free swinging. So that's been really nice to have and just be able to take advantage of. Overall, this thing's worked really well so far. I've just been able to wire it up. I did go with the 5 mainly because I was going to be on the kayak. I didn't want something that was overly big. And I know a lot of people are probably wondering the same thing. If you were going to get the clarity and it really sort of be worth it. And so far, it's actually proven to be pretty true. Uh, no real complaints on it. It's had some good depth lines. I've been able to find a lot of good structure out there. Uh, I was hoping we might float over something interesting here and see if anything pops up for you. But um, you have the fish pings and sort of all the different things on there. But brightness wise, works great. Real easy to install. Uh, didn't have any problems getting it set up or configured. And just got it kind of running here inside the, uh, the little kayak. And it's done a real good job. Like I said, this is more for settings on how I'm using it. I'm not, you know, being uh, just paddle powered. I'm not really ever going to be moving more than maybe one and a half miles an hour or sort of unless I'm really trying to crank down. And since I'm usually fishing, I'm just trying to look and be able to get a better picture out there. So I was able to turn a lot of those settings up on mine and just kind of see what's going on. Right at the moment, I'm kind of drifting backwards. So you're seeing that on the screen. 
I'm gonna give it a couple of strokes here and see if we get a little more clarity. Maybe we might be able to pick up something down there and let it sort of do what it's good at. Now as we're kind of moving along here again now, you can kind of see that we're we're progressing. There's an edge of weed right here and definitely looks like some trees and things that have uh, fallen and been cut. So I'd imagine in just a second we're actually going to start seeing some things on the bottom. And here we go. So now we're actually starting to see some of that. So you can get an idea of what that weed line looks like. There's some edges coming in. The down scan's picking it up as well. So I can kind of see that there's something going on down there. Give me an idea of what it is I'm looking at. You know, as well as just be able to go through and look at that. Uh, the one thing that's a little bit kind of annoying on this, maybe it's more just said and I haven't gotten hands on, uh, getting a quick waypoint is a little more painful than I'd like it to be. You typically have to actually go back out to the map and then set it from there rather than just being able to, to tag a point from here and say, hey, I found something interesting. Uh, that may be a setting that's on my end and not necessarily something on this. I'm still kind of finding my way around it, but... As you can see, it works pretty well. Uh, mounted really easily, didn't have any problems with it. Um, doing a pretty good job in here and just kind of telling me the story that I needed to tell just so I can help find some of that structure down on the bottom a little faster and uh, really get something good out of it. So that is the Lowrance hook. That's the five triple shot. Um, they do make it, I think, in the all the way up to the nine and you can kind of go as crazy as you want. Like I said, in my case, I wanted the five just kind of going to be in the kayak and I didn't need a, I didn't need to have a, you know, giant screen here getting in the way of what I was trying to do otherwise. So that has been a uh, one beer Keith here from Longwood Lures. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that and learned something interesting. Uh, feel free to drop a comment, let us know what's going on. And if there's anything else you want to see, or if you got any questions, by all means, please reach out.